In our newest Street Feed segment, Arlington's bridges are in the spotlight. We'll tell you why and what you can expect later in our program, but first, schools will be back in session right after Labor Day. So remember to drive safely, keep a lookout for kids walking to school, and never pass a stop school bus. What is a biophilic city? Well, it comes from the belief that humans, even in an urban setting, are hardwired to need connection with nature and other forms of life. Find out more about how Arlington participates in this movement at a special seminar on Thursday, September 15th, beginning at 5.30 at the Navy League building, 2300 Wilson Boulevard. A second public meeting about the temporary site of Fire Station 10 will be held on Wednesday, September 7th at 7 p.m. in the Key Elementary School multi-purpose room. The county will present information about three possible temporary locations and you will have the opportunity to offer your input. To find out more, go to our projects and planning page and search Fire Station 10. There, you'll also be able to take an online survey and even sign up to receive updates on the process via email. You may have seen some work being carried out on Arlington's bridges lately. Here once again to explain it all is Jessica Baxter on the new Street Beat. You may have recently noticed some activity on our bridges. Rest assured, these are routine bridge inspections that are taking place through the end of September. Here to tell us about it is our Engineering Bureau Chief, Ramsey Awad. Hi Ramsey, can you tell us what's going on here today? Sure. Every two years, the county conducts routine bridge inspections. First and foremost, these are for safety purposes, to make sure that all of our structures are safe. Also, they help us identify any needed minor repairs so that we can perform them before they become major problems and they help us identify routine maintenance that we can conduct to extend the life of our bridges. Excellent! So, are our bridges in good shape? Yes, they are. Based on previous inspections and what I've been seeing so far, our bridges are generally in good shape. And because that's the case, we can focus on performing minor repairs before they become major problems. As bridge condition deteriorates further and further, the cost to make the repairs increases exponentially. So we want to make sure that we get ahead of everything while we still can. And routine preventative maintenance is very important in extending the life. For example, cleaning a bridge is important because dirt traps moisture, which can deteriorate the concrete. Sealing the decks also protects them from the elements. And painting steel components helps prevent rusting. With these types of proactive steps, we can extend the life of our bridges and our infrastructure can last safely for 50 years or more. Thank you so much, Ramsey, and thanks for keeping our bridges safe. You're very welcome. As you can see, these efforts are routine in nature, but they're very critical in keeping our infrastructure in good condition. Join us next time where we're actually going to go below the streets to tour a water reservoir. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to know the bridges are in safe hands. This September 11th marks 15 years since the attacks on the Pentagon and the World Trade Center. Arlington's chief of police, Jay Farr recently had the honor of laying a ceremonial wreath at the Tomb of the Unknowns at Arlington National Cemetery. This is the second time a county first responder had the honor to participate in this ceremony in recent years. More information on the county's 9-11 memorials and events can be found by using the Arlington Today calendar function on the county website. And speaking of the county's first responders, the police department recently had their bit of summer fun and safety at their annual block party. The free event gave residents the chance to get to know their neighbors and officers while enjoying interactive stations, safety demonstrations, entertainment, food, and much more. Follow the police department on Twitter at ArlingtonVAPD for a continued behind the scenes look at the folks working to keep the county safe. And lastly, it really is the dog days of summer. We recently attended Wags and Whiskers, one of Sherlington's most popular events. It's a street fair for anyone with pets, featuring over 65 on-site exhibitors, ranging from pet services to on-site adoptions. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, and we'll see you next time around Arlington.